Uh, he once was responsible yeah. for killing 12 people, Crazy. wasn't he? Like 14. 14. And, and he come home to brag about it and how he yeah. used a kid uh -huh. who was so uh -huh. small who could stand I'm up right in the van in the streets and kill me, to be kill me. I stay strapped with the heat. I keep it close to me in the trap with the D in my eyes and closing weeks. And if the crack house closed, then it's cost police. Oh, uh, yeah. well, that's why, that's why uh -huh. I say fuck the streets and all that snitching uh -huh. shit. Because they make exceptions hey, uh -huh. even in our communities. They make exceptions to hey, the yo. niggas who can fight. And they make wow. exceptions to the, the niggas who can kill you. I was already weighing grams of marijuana and cocaine. My mindset had totally changed. I went from playing sports to making plays early in the morning before court. And it depended on how much money them came. Because I might change my mind and not show up. I've done it before. i seen times me and bro run a train on the hoe. And as soon as we were done, she had to go. Because my nigga might have another one coming through the dough. And the most they're going to get is a little bit of dough. You can do the I love you with the hoes. I can microwave oven, bake it, or cook it the same way as old. And I never change nothing but the mask and gloves. But I usually burn up those and bathe off with Clorox in the tub. And you can follow me and play on IG if you want. And I'ma just be trying to follow you home, nigga. We took all the negative. Crazy. And we embody all the negative. So yeah. Alpo get an exception. Uh -huh. I'm right here in the streets where I'm supposed to be And I stay strapped with the heat I keep it close to me In the trap with the D in my eyes And closing weeks And if the crack house closed Then it's cause police The yeah. normal average dope Has to be held to the standards Where he have to throw his life away Just to prove to the brother next door That he just as real as the celebrities they admire Alpo come home And think he's still king of Harlem when Rich really was king. Yeah. This is B.A. Streets Daily, nigga. Focus. Crazy. It cost my friend Oh. Thank you, baby. Hey, y'all. Uh, most of you would have died if you live a life like I did. You never survived a drive-by, had crackheads lined up outside your crib. I seen a nigga die, and I was just chalk lines on the ground when he was killed. I was with my Uncle Reese at Verbeek when I heard about Neil. And that shit hurt me, and it always will as long as I live. I remember me and Nick hit a lick for 20000 in counterfeit bills. We spent half and sold the rest of them to my niggas on the hill. Because back then, the hundreds didn't have the strips in them. We can go to Sugar Bears with them and let the strippers get them. And try to convince them to come to the room with Cause after they kind of proceeded the money ain't real We can't come here again And since then the closest I've been is the comfort in Bringing hundreds in about to come again You dumb son bitch Yeah Uh huh Crazy Streets daily, crazy. Uh, we love the streets, but they don't love us back. Now why is that when that's what we spend half our life at, nigga? We love the streets, but they don't love us back. Love us back, love us back, love us back, love us back, love us back. Uh. Uh, I was 15 or 16 the first time I seen cocaine. I just remember being so amazed at the crackhead antic in ways that I automatically fell in love with the game. But first, I had to learn how to cook up, calibrate scales, and weigh up grams. And there I was outside on the corner about to make my first start in the dope game. Right outside where the churches and drug corners merge, but the violence isn't disturbed. Both sides remain the same. So outside, you might see one man breaking down grams with his and another man praying with his hands. I earned my first hundred hand-to-hand -hand from a white girl who came through with spam. I gave him five. I was going to use the extra two pieces to rent the crackhead van. That's when I looked at the crumbled up hundred and just stared at it in my hand and from that point on i was determined to turn it into bands but what i had to go through and withstand just to make that band made me understand how much we risk just to get rich or a hundred grand nigga crazy 
yeah. We love the streets, but they don't love us back. Now why is that when that's where we spend half our life at, nigga? We love the streets, but they don't love us back. Love us back, love us back, love us back, love us back, love us back. Uh, nigga. You are watching a master at work. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Uh huh. Streets daily. Uh huh. Yeah. At this point in life, I try to avoid the corners at night. All I do is write songs and fuck with some bitches. And we all been through shootings and killing both sides. Sometimes we were the suspect and we lost some of shooting victims. And I don't trust no one because it's a cold world we living in. While our close friends would kidnap our kids for them dividends. Them old George Washingtons and Benjamins. And it was hard to avoid this life, especially when being a street nigga is tradition. And I don't just shoot at innocent people. I make sure to get the specific nigga. You never seen soft white turn to hard top foreign vehicles. But that was normal in the corners blocks I grew and lived on where some people made a meal then disappear somewhere to go and live on and this was around the time it was just flip phones and to this day our connection and signal still strong I'm still trying to get loads sent in from each car to center law and I done seen a lot of things that I had to forget that I saw real life prostitutes conducting business with the kids in a car turn a trick in the project building she just want to stop the withdrawal process from ever beginning but that's inevitable just like drug dealing leads to federal prison especially if they get us convicted on trafficking charges and distributing with felonious intentions. So anywhere between the time I was 13, 14, and 15, some of us had got killed, had kids, or got long sentences, nigga. Yeah. Huh? Crazy. Man, how about my sister boyfriend, you know what I'm saying, come over, come over to my mama how I want me, trying to fight me. I'm like, bro, I ain't even finna do this at my mama crib. So he done got my mama all upset. She mad. She jump up. He tell my mouth, ma'am, ma'am, I'm finna put these hands on your son. I'm like, bro, you can't handle me. Like, boy, you better off fight my mama, boy. You can't handle me. So, so him and my mama get into it. Like, they, they going in. Now, I, I ain't gonna lie. I sit back in video. I got everything on camera. Every, how about my family mad at me for not getting in? Man, that's your mama. How you gonna let your mama fight before you? Bro, I'm on probation. You know, mother I can't get in no kind of trouble or I'm gone for eight years. Damn, yeah, boy, you can't put your hands on women. Boy, you going to jail. Like, he ain't getting out. Like, I, had, I just left him down from the police station. I gave a statement. I even showed them what I had on camera, what went down. And even, and even they said I was right for not getting in because I would have violated it. I'm not finna violate my, my, my parole to go back to jail. I just got out of there. Don't make no sense. I finally make the right decision in my life and it backfired on me. But he knew he didn't want none of me. Why he fought my mama? He knew. He know what I'm capable of. Every, the whole city know I set this motherfucker fire. Cause when I go down there and tell them white people, boy, only God knows. I told mama, keep her mother mouth closed when grown folks talking. That's what she used to tell us as kids. I said, mama, be quiet. I got that. Now, this my high, baby. I'm going to protect my high. Me and my Lord and Savior, them. Oh, he slapped them. That's when I said, mama, you better get your lick back. That's when I grabbed grab the camera and start filming everything. At least I got evidence. At least I didn't run. I sit there and watch. I make sure that when he hit, when he got on the ground, I broke it up. Now, 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 let her on her feet. Now, y'all can go right back at it again. Mama hollering, screaming, hysterical. Well, hell, 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 no. You want to swim with shorts? Now, swim. Swim with that short. And what's so cold? Y'all going to probably say, you wrong. You ain't what? Guess what? My sister still with him. She running around her right now, trying to gather up money to get that mother out. I told her, I don't know why you doing that. He's a felon. Yeah. Oh. 
The game ain't designed for us to beat it, bro. It's undefeated, yo. It ain't no goddamn cheat codes. A nigga get locked and come right back home. He told he the police for show. Sure. He just a chess piece for parole. Detectives got a lot of questions wrong, and he'll answer the best way he know. Y'all niggas just be anxious to tell. Say you can't make it in jail, but what you fail to realize is once them statements get mailed, the safest place for you may be in the jail. You never been hit with the intent to sell or been evicted and had to live out of hotels. I've been through hell. I remember I had some fitting all patches that wouldn't sell, but now that shit everywhere moving better than fish scale. And everybody fucking with crystal meth, that bitch hoarse as hell. Where I'm from, siren noises and deputy sheriffs becoming normal as hell. Empty 762 cartridges like seashells in the sand. And it ain't nothing to see friends you grew up with fucked up in these streets either on Oxycontins and Zans. And we think we all got a lot of problems, but so does the next man. Yeah. What I've been through, a lot of y'all would be surprised I survived and came out of it. And even though I could have died so many times, I don't regret one day being in the streets around violence. Yeah. Crazy. What I've been through, a lot of y'all would be surprised I survived and came out of it. And even though I could have died so many times, I don't regret one day being in the streets around violence. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. BA Streets Daily, nigga. Hey, uh, uh. Whoever knew I'd make it this far. I came a long way from the days I was in Bisco in the back row moving eight balls. Back when you might have to take off in the foot race just to beat everyone else to the crackhead car. And ain't no telling how many of us could have been in the Olympics as track stars, but instead, most of us ended up going to the penitentiary on an habitual charge or found dead from overdosing off of fentanyl. One of my uncles just did 23 years in a prison yard and just came home. But that's usually what happens when you stay 10 toes and don't snitch on no one. And I always knew that I wanted to live and get old. Cause the way I been living was getting old It's like I can feel the end getting close And I got kids, two boys and a daughter that's only 13 years old They the ones I do it for I never planned to sign with Universal or Interscope I was thinking at the time that maybe it'll make my boys want to do music even more I never expected to attract this much attention And have people listening to my music halfway across the globe, nigga Crazy Hey yo, uh, hey yo. Uh, I come from where the violence is tradition. So whenever a nigga dies, it's always the right one. Cause we was taught whenever we get revenge to be accurate and specific. Actually, I might get a bitch to slip in my aspirin with fitting all in it. You niggas, time's ticking. My eyes wide and I'm listening. So don't be surprised if I find out where you hide at and send someone to kill you. And I want it done slow because I want you to feel it. You done caused too many problems for us to want to use a gun to kill you. I want to watch your eyes roll when your soul exit along with your spirit. That's how I want to kill you. You jealous niggas, you depressed about how you living or just mad because we really getting cash in Canada because the Mexicans fucking with us. And I don't care how much cash you done came up with either. We still Still ain't fucking with you. We live life fast, but was taught to drive slow cause of the trap doors and loads of sativa. I used to feel sorry for you boys cause y'all old school and your clothes come from cosmos and out of trunks of vehicles. But the kind of clothes I'm wearing always come out the stove cause I ain't gonna wear it if it ain't fucking authentic. And from now on, I'm trying to be in some designer every time you see me. That Farragamo or that Sergio Ticini. And this beef ain't what you wanted, is it? Really admit it. It's hard to compete against something you won't see till it's standing over you idiots. You must have heard the wrong shit about us. Us. Most of us probably sons of killers. You wouldn't even know about drugs if it weren't for us niggas. Where you think your drugs come from, little niggas? Us kind of niggas. Us kind of niggas. Yeah. Crazy. Motherfuckers. Ah.